to inform you that we will not be able to offer you a place in our class of 2016. <laughs> Defense mechanisms activate. Repress it, repress it, repress it. Wait, what am I supposed to be repressing? Oh, damn it. How do I intellectualize this? In the matrix of self-identity versus acceptance status, there are four possible scenarios. Not being yourself and being rejected for it. Not being yourself and being accepted for it. Being yourself and being accepted. And being yourself and being rejected. The first one serves you right. The second one makes you an increasingly typical member of our society. The third one is a high five. And the last one is a slap in the face. We regret to inform you that we will not be able to offer you a place in our class of 2016. What happens to a dream school college app rejected? Does it get forgotten like a placement of keys or laughed at with a colleague over a coffee and tea? Does it stink like ideas gone moldy and dreams gone stale? Maybe it only disintegrates back into ones and zeros in some forgotten corner of a circuit board? Or does its writer explode? Maybe that, maybe that last one because, well, I got rejected like a wrong ass null hypothesis. I can't even hope for it. I can't even hope for an alpha error. Apparently, my levels of significance and confidence were both too low, and my p-value and test scores too small. I was only in the 98th percentile, and I'm sorry I couldn't start a nonprofit organization for starving kids in Africa. I'm just not one of those crazily ambitious, magnanimous, and business-minded outliers. Woo! I'm not going to say they were wrong about me, but I was right about me because for once I was completely genuine. The opposite species of who I was so many times in the past. Instead of being myself and being accepted, instead of not being myself and being accepted, I was myself and got rejected. But I just wish I could have gotten me farther than just a hundred miles. If my intellectual worth were gasoline, the car would have broken down at ASU. I'm still not sure if I'm completely able to make something positive from this to the point where I'm starting to think that maybe that's okay. Maybe growing and being an adult doesn't mean having all the answers, but accepting that you don't and probably can't. Maybe it's plenty to instead be grateful for all you've learned and to carry that knowledge like a warm lantern that flaunts the darkness unfolding at every moment on every side and to meet other flames in the darkness and share each other's light. The dark is the great equalizer because it doesn't give a damn about the prestige or academic rigor of your institution. And I am so happy to inform you that I will always be able to offer a place in me to more light. <laughs>